thank you for your interest in the T8 Retrofit Conversion Kit by Engineered Products Company. Retrofitting your existing strip-type lighting fixtures is an affordable, efficient, and time-saving alternative to purchasing and installing expensive new 8-foot T8 fixtures. For example, the annual energy cost to light a 100,000 square foot warehouse using 375 fixtures, each holding two T12 lamps, is over $62,000. Lighting the same space with the same number of fixtures, each holding four T8 lamps, is only $42,000. That's a 33% savings in annual energy costs per fixture. To remove and recycle the older T12 lighting fixtures and replace them with new T8 lighting fixtures would cost over $62,000. And the return on the initial investment to the facility owner would take approximately 30 months. However, converting the T12 lighting fixtures to T8 fixtures using engineered products companies T8 retrofit conversion kits would only cost about $37,000. When the facility owner takes advantage of the available rebates from their local utility, the total net cost would be less than $27,000. That's a 49% savings. And the return on the initial investment or payback to the facility owner would take approximately 15 months. The T8 Retrofit Conversion Kit from Engineered Products Company is clearly the best cost and energy saving solution. To find information on state, local, utility, and federal incentives and policies that promote renewable energy and energy efficiency, go to dsireusa.org. For more information about the use and future of renewable energy, visit the Interstate Renewable Energy Council's website at irecusa.org. Hi, I'm Tim Nelson here at Engineered Products. I do customer service and inside sales. I'm also a master electrician. Today, we're going to convert one of our old T12 fixtures with our new T8 retrofit kit. Come on inside. First, remove the old T12 fluorescent lamps from the existing lighting fixture and set them aside to be recycled. Remove and set aside the existing ballast cover. Then remove the lamp socket plates. If the socket plates are attached to the lighting fixture's end caps, separate them from the end caps and set the end caps aside. Disconnect the incoming supply conductors and remove the ballast. To install the new electronic ballast, simply reverse the order used to remove the old ballast. In some cases, the original ballast mounting holes may not line up with the new ballast. New holes may have to be drilled into the fixture housing to fully secure the new ballast. Do not reattach any wiring at this time. EPCO's T8 retrofit fixture bracket is divided into three socket plates, left, right, and center. To begin, separate the three socket plates from each other. Bend the left side of the socket plate back and forth until it separates from the center section. Follow the same procedure for the right side of the socket plate. Next, check the width of the fixture housing. EPCO's T8 Retrofit Fixture Bracket accommodates 4-inch and 5-inch wide strip-type lighting fixtures. Then, make 90-degree bends on each of the three socket plate sections so they fit over the fixture housing. If the fixture housing is 4 inches wide, bend the wing of the socket plates along the inside slots. If the fixture housing is 5 inches wide, bend the socket plates along the outside slots. Before attaching the left, center, and right sections of the T8 retrofit socket plates to the housing fixture, pre-wire the socket plates to the ballast conductors. A word of caution. The ballast from each manufacturer is different. Consult the wiring diagram on the new T8 ballast to ensure that correct connections are completed from the ballast to the lamp sockets. Incorrect installation of the ballast conductor wires to the lamp sockets will damage the ballast and void the ballast warranty. When you have connected the respective conductors from the new T8 ballast to the socket plates, you're ready to install the left, center, and right socket plates to the lighting fixture housing. Starting at the left side of the fixture, Invert the left socket plate and push it up and into the location of the original socket plate. 
Make sure you place the socket plate against the end of the fixture housing to accommodate the full length of the new T8 fluorescent lamps, which are approximately 46 inches long. Secure the socket plate by driving the supplied self-tapping screws through the slotted holes. If necessary, reinstall the end cap into the existing holes on the housing fixture. In some fixtures, you may have to invert the fixture's existing end cap 180 degrees and possibly drill new mounting holes so that it will accommodate the left and right T8 socket plates. Dress the wires and push them up and into the fixture housing. Follow the same procedure for the right socket plate. To install the center section, place a center mark approximately 48 inches from the left or right end of the fixture. Then, using the two sockets mounted back to back on either side of the center plate as a reference, align the plate so the center line on the housing points to the location on the plate where the opposing sockets meet. Secure the center socket plate by driving the self-tapping screws through the slotted holes. Engineered Products Company recommends that you install a ballast disconnect for the incoming black and white supply conductors. All that's left is to reinstall the ballast cover, lamp the lighting fixture with new T8 lamps, and restore power. Mm -hmm.